uh, we'll just have a little rundown of the uh, particle throw, whatever you call it. Um, so it's just uh, got a little battery pack on the bottom. The housing is something I uh, designed in Fusion and 3D printed. Um, the battery powers a prop maker Featherwing from Adafruit, um, which runs Circuit Python. I've got a built in switch, push button, speaker, RGB LED, and a NeoPixel on the inside. So when I apply power, a little lights, 3D printed lights, bulb here, power up. Um, it's got a built in accelerometer, so um, if you move this thing around, it can trigger effects like lights and sounds. I've just got it built in to, uh, to play the, uh, the particle for a sample and get my light to flash. So if I just tilt this on its side, place the effect, and if I hit it harder on that same axis, it just triggers the cutoff effect, it's just a sample and resets the color back. So uh, just tilting it once. Plays it through. Now I'll naturally run for about nine seconds, or you can start it and stop it with the power switch. Um, I've also got one of those kind of cheap eBay lasers that I uh, just cut the top off and the uh, the diodes at the top. A couple of wires run down to the on-off switch here, so I can just hit the switch. Turn this guy on and off. So uh, when you've got the main effect and this thing together, just kill the lights here. And do it together. Pretty cool effect. So you can let it run through or put it on. And hit it again for the cut off. There you go. Uh, the laser's powered by a little battery I've got up here. Cable runs down to the front. Um, these little parts and pieces, you know, it's a little clear um, acrylic tube, 3D printed adapter for the laser to go onto the tube. The um, little cap, like the Ghostbusters one from the TV show. Um, most of it's pretty much the same, um, the, the toy that is, which is kind of, you know, I think there's a knob here, which I thought would be quite cool as uh, like a bulb. Printed it in clear resin on the um, on Photon S. It's just a little PET G holder for it. Same with the speaker cover. Turn that guy off. Uh, the vents and the top bulb as well. Um, I 3D printed an extension to the handle just because it's kind of small as a kid's toy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yellow hose. Looks good. And uh, let's take a look at the Proton Pack. Um, obviously this is the uh, original Kenner Proton Pack wedged in here. Um, all the other pieces were designed in Fusion 360 and, and 3D printed in uh, PETG, just because it's, um, it's pretty sturdy stuff. Um, got a couple of lights in here for the, the gauge, um, four pulsing lights. I know there's supposed to be three on, on the Ghostbuster, but I had an extra light, so we stuck it up here. You know, a couple of tubes and things like that. And I've got the uh, original Kenner trap, which still works, believe it or not. And all I did was just um, add, add in a, a simple light. So just to, when you open it, give it a kind of cool effect. Stuck some mirrors and a disco ball lid in there, just to add something to it. But uh, 3D printed a little bit that goes on the side. You know, that little adapter holder. Just set the guy on top. Stop some from going around. Uh, you know. Gun fits on nicely, the one, whatever you call it. Um, but yeah, all the rest, all, all, all 3D printers, an old um, I don't know, shampoo bottle or something there, um, a couple of clamps that I 3D printed as well. Just a mixture of little features and details, just trying to keep it loose um, to the to the uh, real Ghostbusters TV show. Uh, that's the one that you know this was, I guess, based on originally when the toy came out. That's what we were watching as kids back then. Um, but pretty pleased, came out okay. And a bit of sounds, a few lights, it's a pretty effective little costume. I uh, hope one day one of my kids can play with this. Uh, but for now, uh, I most certainly will be. So thanks for watching. <laughs>